The Lord is good. And when they do that, folks, they'll stop living that kind of life because then they will be set apart and called and elect and they will live that kind of life that you're living. So don't go to war. Go to love. Just love your neighbor and let them see that and let them know that. Now, last week we talked about Peter's instructions that are rooted in the hope that we have. We have this reward that is set aside for us in heaven. And Peter tells us it will not diminish, it will not spoil, it will not fade. It is always going to be there for us. And so uh, it means that we do not put our hope in things returning to the way they used to be. I was telling you about what it was like in the 50s. And sometimes I think, oh, I wish we could do that again. That's not my hope. That's not my salvation. That is not where I put it. I put it in Jesus Christ. We're never going back to those days. Never. And I might as well face it, right? You might as well tell me, Ed, yeah, just face it. We're never going to do that. And I, I understand that. So my hope is in Jesus Christ. That's where it lies. Uh, a living hope. He will not disappoint us. When we have challenges, when we have struggles, we need to see, uh, see those things through the lens of Jesus Christ. And that gives us strength and that gives us the joy that we need to have in this world. It allows us to be motivated toward holiness, to live lives that are distinct. And it allows us to have a spirit of humility because we, we realize it's not what I accomplish. It's what Jesus accomplishes. But what had, and he accomplished it for us on the cross. And so when the natives begin to notice that something's different, suddenly we have a chance to tell of the night and day difference that God has made in our lives. And there will be many more that will celebrate with us on the day that Jesus comes again. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Would you stand with me, please? <clears throat> and let's bow in prayer. Father, uh, I do pray that you would send Jesus soon. Uh, I pray, Father, that you would help us to live lives among our, our neighbors and our friends. Help us to live lives that will stand out, that will shine like the stars in the heavens. Help us, Father, to uh, be ready to give the reason for our faith and our hope and to let others see that they too can have this same faith and this same hope. Help us, Father, to not ever uh, be hypocritical. Help us, Father, to truly live our lives the way you want us to live them. And I pray, Father, that you would uh, help us to fix our minds on the hope that we have in you, the hope that we have in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for going to prepare a place for us. And we look forward to our new home. Help us, Father, to be happy as we're homesick for heaven. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today.